SEGS for Vets was started to offer universally designed mobility devices uh, to the men and women who had served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, devices that didn't really draw attention to their disability and that were not available to them through other means. Our purpose is much more than providing a mobility device, even though that is the beginning. That's cool and it benefits them, but the benefit allows them to transcend that disability and become re-engaged in their community with their family members and to find a job and to find purpose because they don't want pity. They want opportunities. They want, they want to re-engage. So for Caterpillar to have an opportunity for our men and women to re-engage in an industry, uh, it's extraordinary. So I joined the uh, military in 2000. I uh, went to uh, Fort Sill for basic and AIT. I was a forward observer. Then we were stationed in Baghdad. Got wounded the day before Thanksgiving 2004. My vehicle was struck by a daisy-chained IED. We give the devices away because we know what impact it has for us personally. The quality of life that the alley chair gave me back, right? Being able to, to help my wife by taking out the trash, helping my kids learn how to ride a bicycle, going like to the zoo or an amusement park and being able to keep up with them. It's a super huge boost in, in my independence and inability to get around. The, the relationship with the Fabic family has uh, uh, had a tremendous impact uh, on the organization as a whole and those that we serve who wouldn't be served otherwise. We are here in, uh, at Fabic in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, we're demoing our product called Command for Dozing. Command for Dozing allows you to operate a uh, cat machine, in this case a D8 track type tractor, remotely, and that can be both line of sight and non-line of sight. Today we're operating non-line of sight through a internet line here at Fabic. Partnering with an organization like SEGS for Vets it just gives us a great opportunity today to get instant feedback on the product we have available off the shelf today, but also, you know, some things we can do to open this product to these warriors that have come back, but, you know, we just need to make a little change or two. So there's been excellent feedback from the vets. You're one of the reasons of coming here and partnering with um, Fabic to have the vets here is to talk to them about not only just the opportunities, but then you know how, how we can better accommodate them. They're getting to experience that technology, remote controlled dozer operation, heavy machinery out in a, 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 a place in Tucson, and they're gonna operate it from here in St. Louis, Missouri. To have an opportunity to be hands-on or hooks-on, it gives them an opportunity to spread their wings and do something that yesterday they didn't have an opportunity to do, but today they do. The biggest thing for Sex and Vets to do is give back our independence, and having something like this to do that is a lot more amazing. I just did it. It was super easy, very comfortable, and it can be somewhere on or off the job site. Operating this dozer in air conditioning, not out in the heat, out in the elements. So to me, it's pretty amazing that it gives an opportunity for someone to get a job that wouldn't be possible somewhere else. I was a little apprehensive about how I was going to, be able to utilize the controls, but I was able to do it, no problem. It was, it was for people with disabilities, the technology like this, that means that we can work, we can find purpose. Um, despite our, our disability. CAT Command is continuing to create opportunities for disabled veterans and wounded warriors across the country. I think today is a great example of how this technology can be used to open up a whole nother set of operators that are available to the industry. As dealers and Caterpillar folks, we're well aware that we have clients that are always looking for good skilled operators. Caterpillar's focus on this technology that allows them to develop a much broader workforce to say, let's work with these wounded warriors to find out the changes that we can make to allow this to be utilized widespread amongst the disabled veterans that are in our nation. That's patriotic in its own right. And the ability to find purpose in life to find a job, to work, it's important as a human being.